unfortunately I did not pass away in my sleep last night so I woke up this morning and now I have to review this utter pile of shit. So welcome back and after Khazadum collapsed and Sauron kind of revealed his true form we return for season 2 episode 3 of the Rings of Power and no I'm not joking that's genuinely all that happened last episode. I shit you not this season is even more boring than the last. Anyway, let's get into it shall we? So we begin with a brief scene involving a horse that we saw at the start of last season and no this isn't the one that Amazon killed and yes I am going to bring that up every episode so that nobody forgets how these fuckers mistreat animals. Well this horse right here is the horse of Isildur, yes the very same. Well last season we saw it run away from the army and finally a whole season later we find out where it ran to because we've been on the edge of our seats, right? It ran to find Isildur, who we all believed was dead. Well, it appears he is indeed very much alive, but was captured by an eight-legged monstrosity and taken to the Black Forest. He fights his way out and rides on his trusty steed to his freedom. It would seem that each of the first three episodes is focused on a different race of Middle-earth. Episode 1, the Elves. Episode 2, the Dwarves and episode 3 seems to be focused on the Numenorians, because nothing says I'm a writer that can't actually write a compelling narrative like splitting all three overarching stories into three separate parts. Unfortunately though, none of the races feel any different from one another, the only change is the aesthetics, there are no behavioural changes, no changes in dialogue or manner of speaking, they're all just boring and all extremely generic. And yet again, like the last two episodes, it's all just walking and talking and nothing of actual substance happening. Bearing in mind this season is eight episodes and we're almost halfway through, absolutely nothing has happened thus far, except a few arguments and discussions on things which don't even need to be argued or discussed. We then see the Dwarven Prince and Diversity Hire number 17, or Disa as they prefer to call her, speak with Celebrimbol and Anna about the creation of seven rings for the Dwarven Lords. These same rings are the same rings that the elves currently wear, with the promise that it will save Khazadum. Of course, Sauron manipulates all of them, as he knows they are all so desperate to save their realms that they couldn't give a fuck about the future consequences of their current actions, once again showing just how fucking stupid everybody in this show truly is. These dwarves and elves have supposedly lived for hundreds or even thousands of years and yet have about as much foresight as the Numenorians. Do you now see where I'm coming from when I say they all behave the exact same? We then go back to Isildur and we receive another 15 minutes of walking and talking but suddenly he is waylaid by a bunch of bandits whom he attempts to help. But have no fear because Black Legolas is here. The bandits are swiftly dealt with and they head back to the village that he calls home. I mean, there was me thinking that we were finally going to get some sort of combat sequence. I mean, if 30 seconds counts as a combat sequence to you, then fair enough. But that's just... <sighs> I'm going to go rewatch Dread. After this, we get another 10 or so minutes of moody faces, orchestral scores and dimly lit visuals. But don't worry, because after this, we get more walking and talking. Three episodes into season two, almost four hours of this shit, and we've had one combat encounter with Black Legolas and a few bandits. This video is going to be extremely short, so let's just recap what's happened so far in the grand scheme of things this season. Elrond said they probably shouldn't use the rings, so everybody used the rings. Celebrimbor decides to make more rings after being manipulated by Sauron, and Isildur escapes budget Shelob. That's it. That's, that's all that's happened of note, making this show possibly the dullest fucking show I've ever seen. At least in shows like Blood Origin or Resident Evil, they were so dumb I could laugh at them and make jokes about them, but with this show, there's nothing I can poke fun at. How can I make jokes about anything when absolutely fuck all is happening? In most good shows and movies, the boring stuff is skimmed over as quick as possible, as it may be necessary to the narrative, even if it isn't exciting. Unfortunately, this show doesn't do that. It's shamelessly self-indulgent in it, and what ends up happening is three episodes over an hour long each, where absolutely fuck all of interest happens. 
these three episodes could be condensed into one episode and nothing would change. I am almost certain that at some point during this season there will be some unbelievable scenes and fight sequences, but I don't know many people that are willing to sit through three or more hours of utter slop to wait for it. Name me one movie that's over three hours long where nothing meaningful happens that was successful. If you can name one, put it in the comments below and I will hold my hands up and apologise. At least I can tell myself that we're almost halfway through this utter fucking bore fest. Thank you all for watching. I hope you are all doing well. And as always, take care.